In the previous episode, we made great progress in most fiefs with construction, but some villages struggle with low population. We took Vladiv Castle, our third fief, and our income is currently around 10,000 per day. All right, so you now have a claim on the boyardom of Tyal. Let's go to Domain Hierarchy, and we can usurp. We can click this. Press your claim and usurp the title from Tsar owner, making you the lawful ruler of this title. Usurping from lords within your kingdom degrades your clan's reputation. Don't need to work on, or we don't need to worry about that because we're not, we are our own kingdom. Let's go and usurp. Interesting. So we can claim the principality. We can become the, the Knias. Knias. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm, I think somebody told me before. Knias. Yeah, so let's go ahead and claim that. And let's go ahead and claim these two as well. Vizibrot and Bukit. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it doesn't seem to be giving us much penalty for being over our, our management. So if we look right here... Oh, it actually changed. So we're at 6.5 out of 4 instead of 7 out of 3. It doesn't seem to be giving us a debuff. It reduces stability across your settlements. Where's the stability? Let's see. Stability right here. Ah, uh, okay. I see it. So if you're over... Yeah, I see it. Over... Domain over limit by minus 2.5, it gives you a minus 0.45. Yeah, so it does... Okay, I see it now. Makes sense. Okay, so population growth plus 17. I wonder if that's just for this town. Now that we officially own it, de jure, like legally we own it, your southern empire was asking us for peace. They're, they're, they're willing to do white peace. I think we'll wait until they pay us the money because we didn't ask for that peace. We didn't ask for that war. We took it and we took their land, but... They're not really bothering us. So if they want to give us some money for it, we'll accept it. Now this one... Oh yeah, that's right. This one's already got a huge population. So population growth here is zero. I should be checking Bukit. Right, peace offer from the Northern Empire. They want to pay us 12 10 a day. Oh, if you agree to pay. Nope, we're not paying you a penny. Not one penny. Uh, it's still, still plus 10, so it doesn't seem to change anything. Hmm... I'm wondering if, if having that lower stability is why some of our places are, are not making enough food. Oh, you know what? We should also do this. Let's go see if we can give away some titles here. So, Ragnvald. Right, we want to make him a knight, and if, again, we can't. You currently do not lawfully own a lordship. Uh, I mean, we do, but... Right, don't we, we lawfully own... Yeah, if I look on here, don't we lawfully own this? Because Boyardom of Tayal, full ownership. So we should lawfully own that. Type Vassal Lord. Interesting. That's a Vassal Lord. I don't know. I, I Between now between the last recording, I actually spent some time reading up on this, and I, I couldn't really find good answers. So this one still has 28 days. Yeah, 28 days. Okay, well, let's not worry too much about that. We've got other things we can focus on. So we have 340 out of 352. I think we're good. We don't need to recruit too many more people. Let's upgrade everybody to the max. We're going to go on the offensive. Let's hire at least the archers. We're almost maxed out on our, our party size. Let's go do some exploration. There's a lot of people in here now. Yeah, 751. I don't know if we want to mess with that. We can always go down to Varnavapol. See if there's anybody down here. There's two parties in there. It's not too bad. But I would love to fight them without those. But let's see. Is anybody going to leave? They look like they're stuck in there. So when in doubt, let's just buy some food. Yeah, a lot of these places have a little bit of food. That's not too bad. And we're able to top up a few more troops. We got space for just a couple more. All right, so we're maxed out. We've got quite a bit of food. Yeah, we're only using 12... We're only using about 13 because of our, our final perk. It does reduce the food consumption, so that does help. Oh, nice. Medicine 25. So now we got 5 hit points extra. 30% 30 po 30 hit points recovered after each battle. Now we gotta decide which one we wanna go after. The beer. This would be the closer one. It's not that much closer to reinforcing over here, but I think this is probably the right call. All right, let's see. So they got catapults, that's the ideal. And let's make this a legit siege. We do need to spend a little time starving out the garrison. Well, not really. It's pretty much starving already. Yeah, I don't know if we're really concerned about people defending. I don't know that they can really contest us. I haven't really seen a big enough army, but I never know. Maybe they'll, they'll surprise us. Now, they want peace. They want to pay us 1400 We're going to decline. And let's go for our daughter. Social, intelligence, and whatever they give us. Endurance and control. All right, so we're going to put these in reserve as soon as they're up. Now, we are 
Oh, we did lose people for that. So it's not just the ballista. Interesting. Usually it's just the ballista. Yeah, because we were maxed out before. So we lost four people from that one volley. That is painful. Okay, here they go. They're starting to coalesce finally. Oh boy, here we go. You don't think we have much choice. I mean, we're fighting. Yeah, well, we're fighting to the last drop. Do they have... Let's see. Do they have the militia in here? They don't. We would still have to fight the militia afterwards. All right, let's 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 see what kind of upgrades we got. We hit Lordship 25. Don't really know what either of these are quite yet. I mean, I, I have a rough idea. I think the cultural assimilation is going to be good because at some point we're going to be taking Batanian lands. Let's see. These are just junk. Okay, so we're fighting on a small battlefield. Not a whole lot of room to maneuver here. Pretty big hill we can fight here so we can maintain the high ground. We're going to be outnumbered. But not outmatched for sure. We're we're in I think we're in pretty good shape here still. So let's go ahead and fill the space. We're going shield wall. Yeah, let's fill that space. Let's go archers right behind them. Right in fr front. Well, they're gonna charge with cab though, so that's fine. Let's just do this. And then if we can fit our horsemen back here, that's fine. I think we have a little bit of room to move. Or is that to the edge of the map? That might be the edge of the map. Yeah, we can't go that way. Okay, well. We'll, we'll hold them in reserve. That'll be a reserve horse. All right. Horse archers are coming. Let's deal with them in the best way we know how. By missing them with our mace. There we go. We hit one at least. They're not really... I don't think they're doing a whole lot of damage, which is good. And they're they're kind of stuck in this little corner because of the edge of the map. I mean, if they want to be stupid, that's fine. We'll take advantage of it. I don't feel like having our, our cavalry with us would make a huge difference here, so... But we'll just whittle them down. They didn't like that too much. Looks like they're all running. All right, Caver coming in. We're already in a shield wall. They're going uphill. They're going to have a tough time breaking our, our shield wall. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, man. That wall held so strongly there. Look at that. The only thing they got through is <laughs> horses from dead cavalry. All right, we're gonna we're gonna command on this one. We're not gonna be doing too much fighting other than that that first part. All right, so nobody's pushing through still. Our, our archers. I'm not sure if our archers are able to get shots off. Some of them maybe. All right, here comes the shield wall. Now, I would like to see if our cap can come over this way. Can they? Hopefully without getting stuck or, or going through the enemy line. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. Yeah, they're kind of going through it. That's fine. All right, let's start working on the enemy archers. These guys are going to be still putting in some damage, so we want to avoid that. Let's try and break their morale. All right, left and right. Oh, man. Okay, how many we got with us? Right. We still have everybody intact. They're just having a tough time getting through. There's a couple with us. All right, let's go back again. All right, here we go. Here's the ranging guard. After him, boys. We need this victory badly. Oh, actually, there's some enemy cab. I thought those were ours. Okay, those are definitely not ours. We're putting in some work. Ilya, let's see, where are our, where's our cab? There they are, they finally broke through. All right, here we go, reinforcements. Now we can really put the herd on them. 
Oh yeah. That looks painful. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna keep going back to They don't want to defend their archers. We will gladly take advantage of that. You know, rock, paper, scissors, right? Can't beat archers. And our line looks like it's holding. I don't see too much red. I see it once in a while, but it's not too bad. All right, their archers are completely gone. They're all running. One guy left. We'll take him out. All right. I think... Oh, that's not ours. That's definitely not ours. Let's take him out. Yeah, I think our... Our infantry line seems to be holding pretty well against uh, against those guys on their own. Let's just deal with some of the cav if we can. Okay, he's dead. Nice. Just throw him grim. Alright, we can we can sneak in some, some flanking attacks from the back, although maybe not going into a steep hill. Let's back out. That was stupid. Alright, back out boys, back out, back out. My bad. Oh look at the carnage. <laughs> This is our handiwork right here. Oh, there's still a there's still a cab left. Here we go, we got him. Alright, here we go. We can we can we can strafe these guys. Oh yeah, they're running. They don't like being flanked. They don't like being flanked by <laughs> by Thor's hammer. Alright, they're all getting some hit. Oh we did lose somebody. Somebody went down. Alright, let's just charge in there. They have a little pocket over here. I think we need to close the pocket. Yeah, they're getting pushed back down the hill, so we'll try and flank them a little bit. Alright, we're getting a little bit stuck. Let's go ahead and back out. I think we'll give them the force command, the force move command. Alright, they're all running now. I, I think we broke the back. They don't have much left in them. Alright, they still got a few people, but not not much left. Alright, looks like we lost a couple actually. Only two. They're probably okay. Right, let's just pick off these guys. I think the, the infantry seem to be doing a better job than we are against other infantry. It's tough because on a horse, you can swipe at maybe one or two of them, and there's at least six or seven that can swipe back at you. So you're, you're really at a disadvantage in cab when, you, when you're not moving, and you get into a big clump like that. I don't know why I didn't have my cab here already. That should have been a no-brainer. Alright, we're at the back of the line. They don't have anything left. These guys are fighting to the end, man. Okay, you guys are brave. Right. I can respect that. We'll still kill you, but I still I respect it. Man, we didn't lose hardly anybody on that. And more importantly, we didn't lose any of our guys. So Exoturn injured, Ilya Muramets injured, and that's it. Only lost eleven of our frontliners. Actually, did our did our archers even do anything? They did not. They didn't have a good angle, so I, I'm not blaming them necessarily, but yeah, only five kills between between both groups. All right, plunder twenty-two grand from them, and we're gonna have a lot of prisoners here. So we'll we'll go ahead and release Apollonia. Go ahead and get out. Galden, get out of here. Oshir, we've met before. Get out of here again. Oh, here we go. This is the guy we're trying to steal land from. So it's good that we get to relate, at least raise a little bit of the relations with them. Boyarina Zorica. I wonder what what she owns. We gotta let some of those guys go. It won't let us keep them. A ton of prisoners here. Actually, we can take them all because we are gonna be in a town. I forgot about that. So we'll start them off with a bunch. Ooh, wow. Interesting maces here. This one, you can tell the ones that we crafted, the Valhalla's Guide, like I said, this this thing's just a, a beast. It's a little this one is a little bit longer. Or sorry, yeah, it's a little bit longer. We have almost I mean nine more damage compared so 29 compared to, to 20 is a huge jump. And we're only giving up five swing speed. Big difference. We'll keep ours. All right, so a lot of boots got swapped out there. 
Oh man, so they're still alive, they're scattered, but they're still alive. But our army is pretty much intact. Oh, that's right. So we, we fought, yeah, we need to get rid of the prisoners. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. So we'll, we'll keep we'll keep the important ones. We'll keep the high tier ones. And then everybody else is free to go. Yeah, we don't want to be over our limit. That's not a problem. All right, continue the siege. And we'll see if they come back for more. If they want to repeat beating. Oh man, we lose people every time we get shot at. That is so painful. So our wife gains Stuart 125. And as governess, we don't really care about tariffs. It's going to be tax income. So let's go with 10% tax income increase. And then first did Phil Johnsonson did gain a level. I have no idea where to put this. We've got pretty much everything maxed out that we need to. And then I think on this one, if he ever leads a party, we'll give party hit points plus five. Uh, I think we'll just save this for now. I don't think it's a big deal to save it. So let's go ahead and see peace from the north. They're going to pay us money. Done. We'll take it. I mean, they don't have any lands for us to take anyways. So they were just more of an annoyance. Now, one thing with that last battle, I believe we got a bunch of their food. So... Now we've got 52 days. We can take our sweet time with the siege. We lost a few troops, and we are losing them every time we, we get hit by a, a catapult or a ballista or whatever. There we go. So 273. We can exactly get what we need. Now these guys do level up into tier 5, but we got to move them back in there. So you're not quite tier 6 yet. Sorry, I mean tier 6. We'll upgrade the Luchniki. All right, so we're going to lose 18 of our morale here, but I don't think that really makes a difference. We can definitely upgrade. Let's go ahead and upgrade. I think it's worth it. It'll give us a little more balance of power. Nice. Our engineer did actually hit 125. So let's see what we got. So increase campaign map mangonel and trebuchet accuracy or increase ballista accuracy. Governor, I'm not really too concerned about. He'll probably stay in our party the whole time. I think probably campaign map for the mangonel and trebuchet is a little bit more important. I don't use ballista all that often. Let's go that route. All right, they're starting to build up again. Not really concerned about it, though, based on how that last fight went. All right, we're going to release all four at once here. All right, Nonskid gained a level. Let's see what we can do with him. So this is his level 16. We'll put another into Endurance and one into Two-Handed. They have a lot of people here now. So they have pretty close to what they had before. Let's go ahead and release everybody. So we are, look, we're taking, we're taking casualties, pretty heavy casualties, too. Wow, man, that's so bad. We just lost in that one little exchange. We lost more troops than we'll probably lose in the entire siege. So let's go ahead and recruit back up. Puts us at 340. I'm tempted to just go right now. We've got a battering ram and we have the ladders. I don't think we need... I feel like I said, we're going to lose more from this bombardment than we are from the actual siege assault, I feel like. So, oh man, that takes so much. All right, let's get everybody in place. Yeah, I don't think that was really worth it building a siege. This, I mean, if we have to deal with Onager, it's really not a big deal. They they just injure. But for some weird reason... Well, that's kind of cool. The trebuchets now shoot uh, multiple projectiles instead of just the one. Yeah, I think fighting these guys on the on the campaign in, in in this rather than doing a siege duel would have probably been better for us. We would have lost less troops overall. Let's get up here. Alright, they're bugging out a little bit. Alright, they do have some archers here, so we gotta be wary of that. And we don't want to get hit by your own guys, so. Right, let's get everybody charging. I think we can... Oh boy. Alright, they're all coming. Are we getting quick? I don't understand. I'm not really moving, but we're we're moving. I think these guys are pushing us. Alright, here we go. Now we're getting some damage in. Alright, what about these guys? Can they... They're, they're making their way up, so let's try and help them out.
Okay, I feel like we did better with the spear. Let's just keep the pole arm. Yeah, look how look how efficient this thing is. Get rid of all these guys. Alright, there's a lot of archers down there. Let's see if we can clear this tower first. Let's clear the guy on the ground first. Alright, we just breached the gate, so we should have three points of access now. Have a seat. Right, they're trying to reinforce. Should be too hard to get rid of these guys. Oh yeah, and I think we cut off the reinforcements. They're starting to get they're starting to get taken out all over the place. I don't see too many losses on our side. Looks like we're doing really well in this one. I got a couple guys in here still. Oh yeah, look at that. Those guys are stuck. <laughs> well, they get to live a little bit longer at least. Oh, that's that's one of their one of their companions. Let's go with the mace instead. Get out of here, fish. Oh, look at that. The red the red tide is coming. <laughs> Wait, I thought I heard I thought I heard the gates get busted. What happened here? Did they did they kill the gate and then just go around to the ladder anyways? That is so stupid. <laughs> oh, this a the AI. I don't know why they didn't fix that. Oh man, look at this. This is just a disaster. Absolute disaster everywhere you look. Alright, I'm gonna be mildly annoyed if this gate is busted. Yep, it looks like it is. Yep, sure is. Gate breached, and they just decided to go the other way. Probably didn't make too much of a difference here, but if this was a close siege, that could have lost us the battle. So, all right, damage report. Everybody, everybody survived. There's a couple injuries. So, Brunor, Hendrik, Thurum, Carlin. Looks like everybody else did okay. Baldur the Beautiful with 14. Wow, nobody even got. Uh, actually, Trigva got 10. The Hound, and then look at our look at our Ratnik. They really did well. 224. So they got close to half on their own. Yeah, only five losses. That's incredible. Scratch with this guy. Minus one. Hopefully we keep letting their people go and they they like that. Minus one. Perfect. Now we're in the positive with them. We did. Now we took it. We can take all these prisoners. Finally, we can do it. All right, we did get a standard. Let's see. Increase melee damage. Well, I'd like that more than the other one we had. Yeah, we'll switch that out. All right, any upgrades? Wait, why are, why are my... I don't know why my weapons keep unlocking. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not unlocking them myself. They're somehow getting unlocked. Okay, so we got some some stupid mace from the battle. We want to we want our uh, where are you? Yeah, we want our Valhalla's guide. Get back in there. Did it take it off again? I have no clue. It just happened. Either way, we took the castle or we took the town. The beard is ours. Now this one has three villages, so this is going to be even bigger to the domain hit. So let's go to the hierarchy. Where is the beard? So we want to claim... Oh, we can claim a lot of stuff here, actually. Yeah, let's claim both of these. That's going to piss them off again, but that's fine. We'll, we'll beat them in battle and release them. So we're trying to usurp all this stuff. <laughs> and it's going to get worse because we're going to try and usurp Vernovopol as well. So he he's going to lose this whole right side of his hierarchy tree. This whole right side. Oh, Grand P Principality. We can claim from Canute. Well, don't mind if I do. Yeah, Knut, we are technically the rightful owner. You're the one that usurped. Alright, domain management, low tax policy, enslavement, and then 
we'll leave it at none for now. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, enlistment's good. Transfer slaves, we have an ungodly amount of slaves, so let's get rid of a lot of them. We don't want to get rid of these. We still have the ones that we're converting. Everything else can go, right? Let's see. Just make sure. Yeah, I don't see anything good in there. It's mostly the low tier. There's some high tier in there as well, but most of it's low tier. So a ton of... Man, you guys have a lot of slaves now. 617, and some of them are really, really good. So I hope, really hope that helps. All right, so Domain Banner Kings tab is good. Let's go to... Let's see. So minus food. Yeah, that's a problem. So let's go ahead and start that up. We'll put some, some cash in there. And actually, the orchard is pretty much done. It needs only one more day, it looks like. Or one tick of something for it to pass. And then we'll probably start the orchard again. So let's not put anything else. Oh, I forgot to look. So domain management. And we're now officially at 10 out of 4. Yikes. And what does that do for our stability? Yeah, it says stability 93.7. I don't know. Is 100% good or 0% good? It says target is 0%. Yeah, we're, we're in bad shape on the domain limit, but what can you do? We got nothing else to do in the meantime, so we'll just keep taking them. All right, get rid of the animals. We'll keep the extra meat we have. We don't want to sell the banner. We do want to keep that, so let's just get rid of everything else. Everything can go. 263k, not too shabby. So we're above 2 million now. Yeah, we've got plenty of money. I'm not really concerned at all about anything relating to money. I mean, look at this. This is so ridiculous. Actually, I didn't realize this town is 8,000 prosperity. Holy smokes. That's really high. All right, so let's wait a little bit. We'll heal up, get these injured guys back on their feet. And then also we should have, yep, this one finished. So the orchard. Now the next orchard is going to take 37 days. Yeah, so we're going to be waiting. Oh, we can also buy, let's see where we can buy the workshops here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's buy the wool weavery. 128 grand. That is expensive. Wood workshop uh, yeah, we'll buy. And looks like the third one is not on the list, so we gotta go in there and do it manually. So we got the wood workshop, and I believe the wool weavery, so it looks like the pottery shop is the one we need to go manually do it. Wait, we're in the stable, that's not... That's not the pottery shop. Here we go. Oh, and they're... <laughs> I don't know what they're doing here. I don't know what you boys are doing, but get back to work. I own this place now. Alright, so we'll buy that. 120... Almost 124k. So we've got three more. These are all level three. These are all level one. Let's just immediately upgrade them. They're going to be down anyways because we just bought them. So might as well take advantage of it. And we're capped out on workshops. I think what we'll do is we'll take the best ones and then maybe sell some of the, the ones that aren't doing too well. Like this, this mining enterprise. That didn't really work out quite as well as I thought it would. Now we need to visit these towns. Let's go do that. Make sure they're, they're in decent shape. All right, tax policy. Let's set it to low. Everything else is fine. Wow, this place is pretty much maxed out. That's incredible. So we do need to come back once this is done. I wish you could queue up more levels at the same building so you didn't have to come back for it. That'd be that'd be nice, a nice feature. Like if you kept adding this one, it just kept, you know, adding the more more upgrades. All right, let's go Rad, Rad, Radakmed, Radakmed. I have no clue. Let's set your tax policy to low. We could also exempt them, but that's fine. I gotta pay some taxes. And this one is maxed out. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do here. And pasture, because this is... No, actually, that's not right. Let's go ahead and switch that. Let's switch it to production or farmland so we can get more food out of this area. Yeah, let's leave farmland because the beer was starving. All right, no tax policy here. We'll set it to low. Yeah, and again, they're, they've got a ton of population, so they're not hurting for anything. And again, it's maxed out. And this is a wood... So this is producing wood. We could go woodlands. I think we'll just do farmland because, again, we need more food. Yes, if we look here in the estate, farmland acreage. There's a lot of farmland acreage, even though this place is producing wood. And we still can't buy that. Let's let's go check something out. I, I wonder if we can buy land, even if they're enemies. All right, so this vacant land, we have the option to buy. Oh, it looks like we can. Interesting. Let's do that to the other one, too. I'm curious to see if that makes a difference. Like, should we do that before we conquer the lands? Oh, also, I forgot to check and see. I, I don't know if that adds more to your domain limit. That would be a pain. You now have a claim on the Voivodeship of Uruk Skala. Nice. All right, so if we go into the domain hierarchy, we should see it. Yeah, here we go. Voivodeship of Uruk Skala. These are all we're still waiting on. So we can usurp and grant. We can't grant because we don't have anybody to grant it to. So that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I'm wondering though, so Uruk Scala is this one. Can we promote somebody? Finally, Ragnvald, we've had this chat like six times now. I'm sure you're getting tired of hearing me, but I think this time we can actually do it. 
No, we can't. Oh my god. What is going on? Did we do it too soon? Does it need another day, like a daily tick or something? 